what is up you guys I am back but today not for a mukbang that's for sure um I don't even know how to start this video you guys are if I was watching myself I would think that this is probably a joke I did a video like this last year and I completely went against what I said um so if you guys don't know here let me just give you guys a little backstory before I just go in to the main point last year April 1st 2019 I made a video called mukbangs are killing me basically I said I could feel what the food is doing to me and I need to take control of my life and control of my health my life Um, sometimes I think about like what I'm doing to my body every single day, waking up to eat. And it's like, it's, it's more than that. There's, it, 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 it messes with your mind. People don't think that mukbang messes with your mind, but to me, like I'm realizing it, like it has kind of, if you don't have that balance and you let the food take over you, it will take over you. This is no joke. There is a thing called eating disorder. There is real life stuff people do have disorders from this and i don't want mine to become that you know so basically um just let me kind of just talk about it and i'm not trying to because people really do go through stuff like that and i'm not trying to bash anybody or talk bad about anybody but last year april 1st i made a video called mukbangs are killing me and i did it because i needed to push myself to do something I normally wouldn't do, um, like go on a diet, <laughs> for that means for whatever that means. But so honestly, usually I wouldn't have to prove anything to anybody, make this video, talk about anything. I would just silently do it. But I feel this is necessary for me to do this, to make a video like this, because I feel that when I put this out there into the world people are going to be expecting it. And when I know people are, are expecting something for me to fall, I do the complete opposite and I prove people wrong. And it worked for me last year for about two or three months. I lost 40 pounds on keto and I want to get control of my life. This year, I told myself I was going to reach my goal and we're already in February. And I told myself January 1st, that's it, Steven, you're done. But I just kept eating and eating and eating and eating and I could feel it again. I can feel the food taking over my body and if you don't have that balance it's gonna mess you up and Steven you will get diabetes you will have high blood pressure you will have health problems and I'm not talking about it in a bad way or there's anything wrong with people who have that but it's like I know better like I know better some people weren't educated enough to like to to prevent it or stop it or whatever some people don't have those resources and I have those resources and I want to be able to utilize those resources and make myself healthy, you know? So basically guys, I don't know what, I don't know why I'm making this video, honestly. Ah, this is going to change everything, change what I post, change everything. It's like I done this last year, but I know there's somebody out there who, who hasn't started to work on their health and it's more than just getting on a diet and getting healthy. Every little thing that you put in your mouth makes a difference. And I've realized that. Every single day when I eat pizza or wings and all this junk food, how I feel after, you guys have no idea. You guys don't even know how many times I felt like I want to throw it up. But I don't because that's just... I, I hate throwing up and I would never do that. Um, and I'm being real. Like This is like real stuff. People think that this is like like a joke. Yeah. It's fun in games, we eat on camera for fun, but it's at the expense of our health, you know? And yeah, the money is amazing, the money's great, but it's like, I wanna be able to be a better me, and I've not been a better me at all by doing this. And honestly, one of the biggest people who have inspired me to back to get back into this is honestly my parents. My parents, um, they started keto last year. Uh, they went like a, on a low carb diet and a lot of people are against keto low carb whatever whatever everybody's bodies are different um do what works for you 
Um, that's it. Work, do what works for your lifestyle. People don't believe in this this diet because it's unsustainable, yada, yada, yada. But I'm going to do what works into my lifestyle. Um, my things are killing me. Yo, here we go again. And I know there's somebody out there who feels like they're stuck in a circle, like you can't give up that food. You can, you gotta detox from that, from this food. I've been doing this for three years now. I just, I'm, just, I'm at the heaviest weight I've always been. I've always been called flaco. Um, I, I was always a skinny one in the family. Um, and honestly, like, I'm getting older. If I don't cut this out, I will have health problems. For what though, you know? So, I just wanna say goodbye to the mukbang community. To the bad mukbang community, honestly. Um, a lot of people are gonna be like, laugh it off or say, oh, he'll be eating this tomorrow. That's completely fine. Like, yo, know, that's completely fine. So this time, I'm gonna be so serious. I'm gonna put everything publicly, you guys. So if you guys don't have me on my vlog channel, you guys wanna follow that. Uh, the link is down in the description. I'm gonna be doing a weigh-in. I'm gonna be taking off my shirt on camera. I want to be able to inspire people and if anybody wants to join this journey with me yo follow me on Instagram you guys um, go over to my other vlog channel I'm gonna be doing like a weigh-in measurements all that stuff and I want to be able to track every single part of the progress to um, let you guys know that you guys because I know how to do it it's just actually doing it you know um, so you guys are probably asking am I gonna quit mukbangs um, probably not. I'm gonna still do healthier mukbangs or keto mukbangs or mukbangs that are gonna fit into my diet. For those who wanna see, they're still gonna be delicious videos, guys. I still, I'm still gonna eat pizza. I'm still gonna eat pizza. I'm still gonna eat pizza. I feel like I had to make this video. This video was necessary. I feel like I, I wanted to make this video because if I don't, I don't have that accountability and I could say, hey, nobody knows what I was gonna do. But now that everyone knows what I'm going to do, all eyes are going to be on me. Everyone's eyes are going to be on me waiting for me to fall. And it's like, I don't want that to happen. Last year, 2018 was the first time I attempted keto. I failed the first week. Last year, 2019, I lost 30 pounds. I did pretty good. This is my heaviest weight right here. And this is me now. This year will be the way the this year will be the year that I'm gonna hit the weight that I wanna be. You guys are saying for my height 180 is too skinny. Um I'm six two and a half. We'll see, we'll see. But I want you guys to join this journey with me if you guys are interested in, in trying to get a hold of your life, get in shape. Everybody's diet's gonna be different. I'm not saying everybody needs to go on keto or anything. So um last year when I started keto I was on, I was what, 273, my heaviest weight I've ever been. I went to sleep praying that I was going to wake up the next morning. I'm not even lying. You guys don't even know how bad I felt. I would shove my face, go straight to sleep, sleep for hours, wake up with massive heartburn, GERD, all that stuff. And that's when I started it last year. Last year, I felt amazing on this diet. Um, I'm doing this just because it makes me feel good. Um, and even when I've tried the intermittent fasting. Well, I'm gonna do keto. Um, I'm gonna do a keto intermittent fasting. I'm gonna fast and stuff too. I know there's there's people out there who are like, oh, Steven, you're gonna fail. Or are you gonna quit the next like the first week? You're, you're gonna quit instantly. Or are you gonna fail the first week? That's good to see, honestly. That's good to see. I need to see that because that gives me the motivation to keep going. So if you guys do see videos go up on my channel, they're pre-recorded. So I'm I'm letting you guys know that right now. If you guys if you guys see mukbang videos that are that are not keto go up on my channel, they are pre-recorded. Okay? Um but yeah, I know there's other people out there who want to get. Sorry, my camera's dying. 
um, recently I've been getting a lot of comments like, oh, yo, Steven, you're getting fat, you're getting your weight back, you're getting this, what happened to keto? And it's like, I told myself, when I start seeing that stuff again, people are going to notice that I'm gaining weight, and I can feel it too. I'm like, yo, this is when I got to stop, this is when I got to stop. So, good, goodbye to the bad mukbang community. So all I can say is goodbye to the bad monkey making community where I'm eating a whole bunch of unhealthy food. I'm going to try to make the food look unhealthy as possible, but actually be healthy as possible. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to be doing like a weigh-in. Um, right now, honestly, I'm just trying to cut fat. Cut fat, clean my insides, get my arteries cleansed. Thank God, you guys, I don't have high blood pressure, diabetes, anything like that. Um... But I just feel like this was necessary for me to make this video to let you guys know because it's going to keep me accountable. Every time that I want to eat something bad, oh, Steven, but you said this, remember? So I think that that's good for me. And it's fine that people can have their opinions, say this, say that, say this, say that. That's completely fine. Yo, um, my parents are still on their diet, you guys. They have their own channel. They have their own channel. If you guys don't know who my parents are, Travel Sushi channel down in the description guys go follow it my parents have lost over a hundred pounds in a few months together like yo like my their mood is different everything's different when you eat better from the inside honestly it changes everything Whew. yo I feel good now you guys don't even know how long I've been wanting to do this video it's already what February the beginning of February I told myself the beginning of this year was going to be the year that I was going to do it and just, just, just do it. But a whole month has already flew by. A whole entire month, you guys. So, yo, guys, let's do this. This is the beginning of the month, beginning of the week. And anybody out there who wants to change your life, like, like let's do it, guys. When I do my way in, and you guys are going to see how fat I actually am. No Photoshop, no nothing. Oh, damn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> they they say that, but I think for me, I want to be able to to keep that original like, keep it real, keep it raw. Forget it, you know. Like who cares, you know? Um. Hey, twenty twenty is your year. Let's do this, you guys. So goodbye to the bad mukbang community or bad food. I'm gonna be doing trying to do better mukbangs. Um, like just like my low carb stuff. If you guys go back to Steven Sushi Keto. I have some keto videos. You could see a little bit of a change from beginning to, to end. Um, I look back at some of my older videos when I was on keto. I'm like, yo, Steven, you were actually doing it. I could see it. But now that I'm like like starting to gain weight again, um, this is not healthy for me, you know? I have to be like a healthy dad. I I can't be so like, like an like a overweight, unhealthy dad. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, Thank you everybody who said I was getting fat again because of you. I'm gonna get fit again. <laughs> Cause it, honestly, it's a freaking cr cruel world out there. No, nobody's gonna care for you but yourself. Honestly, nobody's gonna care for. Only you can change your life, and I and I've realized that. Like, if you wanna let yourself go, go right ahead. There's no one that's gonna stop you. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. I hope to see you guys soon, and I will see you guys later. All right. Peace.